Something you guys got to know about me is I love keeping my truck clean. When I come back from a desert trip, this thing is getting a nice deep wash, making it nice and shiny and show ready again. Um, if it sits for about two weeks at home and it builds up that regular dirt and grime, I wash it, get it nice and clean again. But there's one spot of this truck that I have not touched since the day I bought it. That means almost four years of not only normal grime building up, but also off-road dirt and grime building up for about four years now. And that one spot that it's been building up and that I've been neglecting is the engine bay. This is what just about four years of off-road grime and dirt looks like in an engine bay. Now one of the main reasons why I haven't cleaned it in four years is because I just don't know how to go about cleaning an engine bay properly or safely for that matter. I've always been way too afraid to use the power washer or even a normal hose for that matter to spray down the engine bay. I just don't think that would be good for it. So I just haven't done it. Now as you guys may know, I am a huge fan of Chemical Guys products because um, it just works for me. It's, it's been a while since I've found a good car wash product that has worked for me and my truck and the off-road dirt and everything, but Chemical Guys has nailed it. So I've been using their products for a while now. So. On their Instagram recently, I've been seeing videos of them using a certain product to clean an engine bay. And I thought, well, let's go try it out. Let's go put it to the test. Let's see if it can tackle the four year buildup of dirt from off-roading. Now I know this may sound like a, a sponsorship or a paid promotion, but I can guarantee you guys it is not. Uh, I'm not affiliated with Chemical Guys in any way, shape or form, nor am I affiliated with Detail Garage, which is where we are heading today. I reached out to them beforehand, asked if I can film there, they said yes, and I'm going to be meeting up with one of their guys and having him walk me through all these steps. Okay, so we made it out to Detail Garage of Montclair and I got Connor here with me. What's going on guys? So um, I'm just going to have Connor take him over to the truck, show him the engine bay and uh, see if we can get his opinion on the four years of neglect and how bad the damage is and what we're going to have to do to clean it. Yeah, let's go take a look. Holy Hold shit. it up. <laughs> Oh my god, what did you do to this thing? Well, you uh... I Jeez. <laughs> is it that bad? It's pretty dirty. It is dirty. So from watching the videos, it seems like you just need the spray, agitate, and the microfiber. But my concern is like rigid areas like this. Yeah. How so would you get between it? For areas like this, like around the where the headers are, some of the hoses, AC lines, normally we'll use like a, a Boar's horsehair brush. So we have a couple different types and a couple different sizes. So usually for this, I'll, I'll use like a bigger version of it, but like for the smaller areas, we have like a toothbrush size. So all you can right. get like super, super small, like here, you can get all the dirt out of there. So pretty much everywhere, we have everything inside, so. And is that gonna work as well for like the, the bare metal on the top, or is that? So yeah, for the top, obviously you're, you're gonna use the same product, okay. but you're gonna use a different brush. So since this is painted, you're gonna wanna use like a soft bristle brush. All right. So it's pretty big. All right, perfect. Let's head inside and get this All right. done. All right, guys. So this is our shop. So we have a couple employees over here. That's Darren and uh, Daniel. Uh, throughout the shop, you're going to find stuff everywhere. So mainly we have our brushes. We have our wash dirt traps. Uh, over here is our chemical aisle, as well as our foam cannons, which is my favorite part. Um, we have all of our clay bars, our machines on that side, but this is, this is the good stuff right here. We have our air fresheners, we got our waxes, uh, we have glass cleaners, glazes, waxes, pretty much everything that you can think of at Detail Garage Montclair. So where's the good stuff we're looking for? Where's that no oh, nonsense? Yeah. It'll be right here. Perfect. So this is what you're probably going to need a gallon, to be honest. <laughs> a gallon for this? Man. But this stuff is really good. This is a multi-purpose cleaner. You could use it on pretty much any surface. You could use it on the top of your hood, you could use it on the plastics, you could use it on the metal, you could use it on the tires a lot. Uh, people use it on the carpets, on the inside. It's pretty much good for everything. I've been super curious about this product because like obviously I follow chemical guys and I see all of all the videos they post and they use this on like anything and everything really. As long as you got like the right brushes for it and this you can clean 
anything from like even the lug nuts of the wheels, yeah. you know, yeah. valve stems, interior, exterior. So it's pretty cool. And what's cool about this is you could actually delete this. You could delete this either 50 50 or 3 to 1. Uh, so you could use it on different types of things like suede, for example. Yeah. We don't have a specific product for suede, but this is what we would use because you could dilute it. Don't want anything super aggressive. And then alongside this, what's up with the uh, different boar hair brushes? So the boar hair brushes. So you're going to want to use. So we have the three pack. This is a different size that I was talking about. All right. So I would use that for like the, uh, the hoses, the AC lines. We also have uh, some smaller ones over here. This is just a single pack. Um, we have about this size right here. I usually use these two, okay. just because I don't like getting the three pack, but this is a little bit more aggressive than those, mm -hmm. so it gets a little bit more of the dirt. This is uh, a little toothbrush that I was talking to you about to get into the skinnier type areas. All right. And then after you spray it on, you agitate it and everything, you're just using a microfiber basically to wipe it off. You're not adding yeah. like any water or anything in there. Yeah. Well, what I do is obviously you're going to cover any electrical that's exposed. Yeah. Uh, spray that on. I usually let it soak and sit and kind of loosen up the dirt for okay. a minute or two. Um, and then I spray it again and then I'll start agitating it. Okay. And then sometimes I'll spray a little bit of water just to get any hard to reach areas. All right. So we went over all the products. You show me around the store, show me what I can use on a other applications other than what we're working on today so we're ready to check out but first i wanted to get to know a little more about the company and him and his role in the company all right so i pretty much started here when i was a junior in high school i've worked here about four years now uh, i've worked my way up to about social media manager so i manage all the social media pages for all the different stores that my boss uh, owns but we've been the actual store has been open here for about four or five years it opened in about 2016 uh, and we've come a long way like before this place was like bare empty and it was so depressing when you walked in But now it's a it's a cool vibe. We have a lot more employees um, Super nice here super chill. I pretty much love working here um, Before I started working here. I didn't even know this place existed. I I just kind of used armor all and I used Dawn just soap to wash my cars, but uh, Once I found out about this place. I applied for a job I started from the bottom, like I was down here. But now that I'm up here, it's a lot more, it's a lot more technical than you think. It's not just Dom dish soap, it's, it's all the lubrication, the scratches, the swirls. It, it's really detailed and that's kind of what I like about it. Kind of relieves the stress for me. Well, we'll, we'll get out of your hair now and yeah, um, yeah. We'll, Let me put this in the bag for you. we'll go home, we'll test out the product. We'll see if it could tackle this four year grime. And um, I think disclaimer, the one thing I'm not doing here is like, that like after after cleaning type gel to like restore the blackness of it i feel like i'm gonna have some dullness this is like my pre-washing prediction i'm gonna have some dullness after just from the dirt sitting there for so long it depends it depends on how strong the product is, the product is because it always goes back on the product because if you use a product that's not super strong it's not going to lift up all the, the dirt from it's embedded in the plastic mm -hmm. you use something super strong it's going to lift it all out and then you'll have a chance to restore it bring back the black the plastic a little bit better all right, well, we'll try it out and we'll see what happens. All right, well, that's yours. Let us know how it works. All right, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we got the package secured, all buckled in, ready to go. Big shout out to Detail Garage of Montclair, guys. I've said it before, I'm a huge fan of great customer service and Detail Garage delivered that and more. And guys, I'm telling the truth when I said this is no sponsorship of any sorts. Like, I really went into this uh, blind, like a normal customer. I. I did reach out beforehand just to make sure I can record there. And other than that, I mean, I'm just another customer and that was a great experience. They have a lot of products um, for anything that you need to take care of your car and they were really knowledgeable on all of it. So as far as the customer service aspect of this video goes, it was great. But now let's get home and dive into the product. Okay, we are now back home with the product. So let's just kind of take a look at what I picked up today and see what we're going to be using to clean the engine bay. First and foremost, we have the cleaning product itself, the no-nonsense, invisible, all-purpose, super cleaner. And since I did get the half-gallon size, I also picked up one of their spray bottles so we can uh, actually have something to apply it. And lastly, we have three different kinds of brushes to actually agitate the spray into the dirt and get it cleaned up. Now, ideally, you only need one brush to do this, but we picked up three different size brushes to get all the different areas. We got the toothbrush brush, and we got a little smaller head brush right here. 
And the reason we have three different sizes is because, you know, we have a big surface area, we have very small detailed areas, we have hoses, we got all kinds of things we got to uh, get into different areas in different sizes. So we got, you know, a variety. And the only other thing we're gonna need is a rag or microfiber of any sorts to kind of wipe up the mess when we're done. I'm assuming I'm gonna need to use like an oldish one I don't really care too much about because I feel like it's gonna get really muddy and filthy. So I don't wanna use my really nice ones on this. So I'm gonna go grab that and let's get started. A big problem I always have is not having a steady enough hand or enough control to pour a big mouth into a small mouth. So I'm probably gonna make a mess right now. Not too shabby. I'm getting better every time I do it. Make less and less of a mess. So, before we get started, since I don't have a lot of daylight to work with, I got about maybe an hour at most, I'm gonna be doing the stereotypical detailing tactic. I'm gonna try to split the uh, engine cover in half with some tape so we can see a nice before and after of this, this product going to work. I think my engine cover is literally so dirty the tape won't even stick to it. But um, I think it's sticking enough to where we can get the video done. So let's see. Since there's so much loose dirt on top, I'm just gonna kinda like dust it off first. Oh, hold on, hold on. Gotta at least get a little before action. Don't mind this, I just wiped some of it off with the rag, but here's gonna be our before. Now we're gonna wipe some of this loose dirt off so we have a little less to work with, but dude, for somebody like me who's like really OCD about cleaning things, I can't believe I've let this go four years without being touched. So a lot of that loose dirt came off pretty easy, but there are some like oil splats or something in here that's holding on to some tough dirt, so. Let's get up in here. So that's after wiping some of the dirt off, but like I said, still some oil spots in here. So let's just get some of this. I must say I have a terrible memory, but I'm gonna try to remember as much as uh, what Connor told us to do as far as instructions. So I think he said spray it on, let it sit for a little bit, and then uh, spray a little bit more on, then we'll start agitating. So I'm gonna let that sit for now while I unpackage the three brushes, and then we'll spray on a little bit more. Dude, come on, no way. Okay, I done goofed up. I thought I was recording that whole time, but I guess I was not. So we got it split, we wiped off all the loose dirt that was on top, and then we went to work on some oil stains in here, but it wasn't recording. So what I'm gonna do is clean this up, we'll split it up again with some more tape, and we'll try to get a before and after uh, with me actually showing you guys. But for now, let's just start wiping this off. Let's fold that over. I honestly did not think it would come out this good. Four years of just caked on grime just sitting there. So that right there is a before and after shot if I've ever seen one. All right, take two because your boy doesn't know how to hit a record button. So first I think you said you're gonna wanna spray the area. Oh, overshot it a little bit. Don't mind that. So, Next, I think he said he lets it sit for a while, lets it soak in, and then sprays a light second layer on before he starts agitating. So we're gonna let that sit for a while. And right now for the engine cover, since it's such a big area, no deep grooves or anything weird, I'm just using the biggest boar hair brush that I got. Okay, so that's set in. Let's throw on a little second layer real quick. Let's get some of the spray on the brush itself here. And now with all this on, let's just start agitating. You can already see here the areas that were kind of clean with loose dirt and then the other areas with like caked on, oily dirt going on. So let's just start working this in. Yeah, so you can see in the cleaner areas, the foam's coming up white. When in these dirtier caked on areas, it's coming up brown. So that's it's a good sign. Also, it's nice to see that it's lathering really well. That's how you know it's kind of getting in there, working in real good. Ooh, yeah, look at this. Oily, caked on area, just foaming up, picking it up real well. Ah, 
I didn't get some spray over here. Let's see what it does without the spray and just what's on the brush. Same with the side. I didn't get much spray on the side here, but we'll see if what's on the brush is enough to get that little area. On this brush, you can also see how filthy it is. Look at that foam that was once white. It is like gray, grayish brown. Same with the bristles. Look at the bristles over here by the stem. Like a light brown blondish. And look at the tip. It's like mud. We'll set this aside for now. And we'll grab our rag to wipe up all that dirtiness. Just for visual effect. Clean rag. I'm just going to wipe away. I don't know if it matters if you go in a single motion, but I'm going to go in a single motion. Wipe the corners. Look at that. That's already just one wipe over, fold over to a uh, another cleanish side here. All right, so here's what it looks like, the area that actually got the spray on it. And this is the corner where it didn't get the spray, but just what was on the brush. It actually did come out pretty good. The spray would have cleaned up this extra little bit, I'm assuming. But overall, look, let's just remove this tape. Get that out of there. Get this out of there. Look at that. Look at these differences. Wipe some of this up. Dude, come on. Tell me that is not night and day right there. Tell me this does not look dealership quality. And like you heard me say at the checkout counter, I was a little worried because in some of the videos I posted, I've seen them use like a plastic restoring type gel to make it shiny, like dealership shiny type deal. Um, and my concern was without that, it would still be kind of dull and dingy just from the dirt sitting on for four years. But he said if the product's strong enough, um, which obviously it is, it came out like pristine black, brand new. I don't think I will go back for that gel though, just for me personally, because um, I off-road a lot. So if the dirt gets trapped into anything like tire shine or a trim shine or a gel, it's gonna make it 10 times harder to clean out in my opinion. Um, but if you're driving like a car, like daily driving, street driving, no off-roading or anywhere, dirt can get trapped on that. I definitely shoot for the gel because it would make it look even better than it does right now. I think it speaks for itself. This stuff is phenomenal. Um, over the rest of the weekend, I'm going to tackle this because as you can see, there is a lot of small nooks and crannies and compartments to tackle here, especially the underside here. So, um, that's it for showing you the actual cleaning of it. I'm going to catch up with you guys in a few days once I have all of this done and I will show you guys the final product. All right, guys, it is now like two or three days later. It's Sunday. It's Valentine's Day, hence the attire. Um, and I am finally done cleaning this engine bay. And oh my God, telling you, night and day, I'm not even kidding. It's, it's uh, surprising for me to see it this clean because I didn't think I'd ever get to see it this clean unless I took it off to go get it um, professionally detailed or something. Now, before I show you, keep in mind, I was trying to stay away from electrical. So the stuff that's wrapped in electrical tape or stuff that's close to electrical, type stuff I didn't really clean too well I just did a dusting so there is still some dirt in there but that's only because I didn't go ahead and clean it but for the most part it is a lot cleaner I did the uh, underside of the hood everything in the engine bay that was um, within reach and not too difficult to get to and not near uh, electrical so here we go let's check it out Now I'm going to throw in the clip from the beginning of the video that kind of shows how dirty it used to be and uh, give you guys a visual of how clean it is now in comparison. This is only after one pass through on everything and the only place that that cleaner fell short was right here on the engine cover where an oil spot was laying. I don't know why it's not picking it up. This spot I did try a couple times. I tried just going at this spot but I, it's not coming out so. But other than that it cleaned everything very well even the paint up top paint on the sides, plastics, rubbers. There are some hoses and caps that I didn't even know had writing on it until I cleaned them and I saw that there was writing under all the dirt. These hoses right here basically look brand new. Like, hold on, let me see. 
let's compare this one to the one down here, or even back here. Look at this, same exact type of hose, but cleaned, not clean. That's, come on, you can't deny that. And something I need to tell you guys, I need to give myself a neck because I believe earlier in this video, I kept calling the product no nonsense. I have no idea where that came from in my mind. It's just called nonsense. Let me get the bottle. The product is just called nonsense, not no nonsense. I have no idea where I picked up the no part from. Um, maybe it was like a little play on words they used in one of their videos and I just never really read the label, but it's nonsense, not no nonsense. Sorry about that, but. So I know my opinion can only go so far, guys. You have to get the product and try it out for yourself if you're not believing me, or if you do believe me and you need to clean your engine bay, or anything for that matter, because like we said earlier, this is an all-purpose spray. So if there's one thing you need in your cleaning arsenal, whether you just do average cleaning for your own vehicle or detailing, nonsense all-purpose cleaner, phenomenal. I went through a lot of rags to clean this engine bay. I used their soft bristle brush for the paint like he recommended so I didn't scratch anything. Used the big brush for big flat areas, tiny detail brush for tiny areas, and for that accordion style, the toothbrush brush, look at this. You just push it in right there, it just, it forms to it, it's fantastic. Again, huge shout out to Detail Garage of Montclair for hooking me up and having the knowledge to uh, point me in the right direction of what I needed to get this job done. Shout out to Chemical Guys for making a fantastic product yet again. There's really not much I need to say, guys. Honestly, this product speaks for itself. You guys saw the before, you saw the after. I can only praise it so much before you guys just get sick of hearing me say it. So, um, make your own informed decision. Go out and buy it if you guys want to try it yourself. All the products I use in this video today, I'm going to link down below. Uh, head into your nearest detail garage to pick up some of these products, or if you don't live near one, uh, head to Chemical Guys websites and purchase some for yourself. So thank you for tuning into the channel, guys. Stick around for the next video. Subscribe if you have not already. It's gonna help me out a lot. Comment uh, your thoughts or opinions on this video or the product or any other products you wanna see me test before you go out and buy it. Thank you again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.